Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I am bringing a video regarding the new update that Wix release for the pricing plans where you can actually customize the thank you page. So one of the things that we're going to do today is mainly creating a thank you page and not using the one that you can customize. And the reason is you could do a lot more things like adding steps and maybe adding some more products that you could, you know, upsell, maybe joining a group. Uh, you can do a lot of different things. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. And let's start with the steps, right? So the number one step that we're going to do is we're going to open the editor. And once we do this part is pretty much going to go very straightforward. So let's go here. I have the editor ready for you and let's get into it. Perfect. So as you can see here, I have already a pricing plan, right? And let's say I, you already have set up this part. So there's not much to do other than just going into your editor, adding a new page. And in this case, uh, I normally I like to start with something like a blank page. And that's so I can modify this, right? So I'm going to name it thank you page. And you can even set different type of thank you pages. If let's say uh, you have, I don't know, some type of membership that you're offering for VIPs only and then another membership for people that just buy a low ticket item, uh, whatever the reason is, you can have different thank you pages for different things, or you can completely send them somewhere else outside your Wix website. So, for example, a lot of people try to use a third-party uh, course website, right? And they just want the Wix site to be like the landing page. So, whatever the reason is of why you need to customize this, again, we're going to go back to the editor. You have your thank you page. And once you have this, you can literally do a lot of different things. In this one, we can add anything from like, let's say a text, right? And then with the text right here, you just wanna say, thank you for your purchase, right? And <clears throat> now one of the things with this is that if you start, you know, customizing your, uh, your page, if you don't want them to see the menu, you can always make sure that you can hide that part. So when you go here, go to settings, right? You can go to the layout and then you can hide the header. In this part, this is gonna be useful so there's no distractions of them going somewhere else before they complete whatever request or whatever steps you have here. From this part, we're gonna add just a small repeater and we can do something like this. So for example, first step here could be something like uh, change profile, right? Or join group. And you can even customize this. So for example, you can have a different vector or you can completely use a picture or something. So let's say you would do something like this. Um, and then right here, we can just do profile. But the point here is that you can, you know, adjust it, customize it as you like. Now, as we're doing this part right here, you can also add products. Maybe you want to add some additional products that they can buy, right? So in this case, we're just gonna add this little strip right here. And you might have the new version of Wix, which now they call it sections. As you can see, this is the old version. Uh, and this is because this is a this is an old uh, editor. So that's why I still don't see this option, but shouldn't affect anything on what I'm showing you. And today is December 17, 2022. So again, this is not going to affect you in any way, as in like everything's still updated regarding what I'm going to show you. So once we go to the uh, plus button right here, you can always go to store. And let's say you want to add another products that are in a different collection that you want them to see only after they have purchased the products, 
right? So you can be as creative as you want with this because it becomes almost like another way for you to either sell something else, give them access to other resources, but this is only for the thank you page within the pricing plans. So let's go back here again. And now all we have to do, let's say you're completely happy with your page, gotta make sure you publish it and also make sure it's hidden in this part right here. Cause right now it's gonna be visible on the menu on the website. So you gotta also make sure it's hidden. And then if you wanna go one step forward, you can always uh, hide it from the menu, right? And then on SEO, you can completely hide it from the index website uh, from Google. So nobody else can find a page. Uh, you can go as far as even making it just uh, for members only. And then here you can select who can access it, right? So you can have cycle operator that have purchased the dog treats plans, which I have one that I created here as an example. So you can, again, make sure to customize this as much as you can. And you can have different plans. Again, like if you have like a VIP regular page, whatever it is, you can also have it limited. So even if somebody shares the link and didn't purchase anything, they won't be able to access this page. So once you are, again, are happy with your thank you page, all you have to do is just go to the three little dots go to the SEO and then on this URL, you're gonna click and you're gonna copy this right here. So you, once you copy this link, you're gonna go on your main dashboard on the back part of Wix. And then once you have added a plan, all you have to do is go to edit, right? If you already have those plans in your website, then you're just gonna scroll all the way at the bottom and click edit right here. Now, this is the one that normally Wix uh, gives you when you have uh, purchased anything from pricing plans. And this is very basic. So this is where you're gonna pretty much completely change this step. And then you wanna go to other page and paste your link right here. Now, again, if you're planning to take your visitors to other uh, website or you're planning them to sign up for something else outside of weeks this is where you're gonna put the link and once you have completed this step all you have to do is just click save and that's it once you do that click save one more time and now it's completed so to test this we're gonna go to the actual website and that way you can see what the process will look like i have it as a free uh, membership just to make sure we can test this so we're gonna go to price and plans right here. And I put it as zero so we can test this. And we're gonna click select. Right here is gonna ask you to sign up first. And then we're just gonna use a, just whatever email. So whatever email. Make sure you verify this, sign up. And while this part is loading, this is where you're going to get the next step, which is getting a plan, right? So once you're here, just click get a plan. And then this is what it gives you first. But once you click got it, this is where we're going to forward you towards the thank you page that we just added, right? So once you do that, then as you can see here, we have our uh, thank you page and they can either buy other stuff, access it, and again, you, they won't be able to see the menu. Now, if you want them to still be able to go back to the website, you can add it uh, within a button or connect it to the homepage, or you can just completely uh, make it available so you don't have to be uh, hiding the menu. So you can just leave it as a standard layout. So this is very, very useful right now, as in like if you're trying to build other things once they have purchased any plants. So hopefully this video helps you. If you have questions, if you think the video was a little bit confusing, just send me a message. I'll definitely help you. And if you need anything else, just again, send me a message at bitso.com and then I'll be able to, you know, um, guide you or even send you resources so that way you can complete whatever project you are doing either for you or for your clients.
Take care.